WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here, Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up after this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's up 82 with 33,790. Was up a little bit more uh, earlier today to 33,868. I think there's going to be a wait and see attitude as we move on to the rest of the day, or at least in the afternoon, waiting for the CPI numbers for tomorrow. That's going to be quite important. And what we're looking at here is that in the Chapman Wave methodology, we've made a peak C. We should go above the 30, uh, 33,953 high of three days ago for leg D in the next few days. But key support is at 33,480s. We're looking at the S&P. And this is going to be also quite important because the S&P is up 17 at 39.37. Made a peak C also just missed making its leg D today. Could turn out to be a peak C1, C2 top. We'll talk about that in my show coming up. Tiger technicians out. What we are looking at is the QQQ. The NDX 100 is up 1.26, up 0.48% at 274.18. That's really good action finally starting to, I wouldn't say outpace uh, the Dow, but at least it's showing strength, and we'll see what happens at the close today. But this is important. I'll talk about that when I come back because we want to look at some retail areas. Looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, the Russell 2000, whoops, uh, Russell 2000. Let's get this going. Yeah, there it is. IWM trading at, uh, this is very strong, up $1.48, up 0.81%, at 182 uh, this is very nice. I didn't finish that. That's peak A. This is peak B. We're in a very strong leg C. We might be seeing the small caps start to outpace the rest of the market over the next couple of weeks. That's very important. Looking at the the gold gold contract, I think it's getting a little bit tired here. It's down, oh, down 0.3, <laughs> down less than half a point at 18.76. But it's just starting to bump into resistance. I think there could be a mild pullback. Maybe the dollar pull uh, rally is just a tad Dollar has been acting very poorly. It's down at the 103.22 level, uh, down 0.06. Looking at the TLT, and that's bonds. Uh, bonds today are holding steady. They're at 104.95, up a dollar. And the crude oil, and this is going to be quite important because crude oil is still way at the lower end of the range, even though it's up. I'll be back with the Tiger Technician Sound. Check my opening call, Daily Newsletter. See you in a few moments. Hope you can stay.